Hi guys, it's Sin Elias and welcome back to Total War Rome 2, which we're going to carry on playing as our campaign as Pontus. Alright, the game is loading. Alright guys, the game is loaded. I just had paused the recording just for a minute, just to make it possible for you to at least not have to wait so long. Right, where are all of our armies and so forth located? Of course, we got an army here. I'm saying army, it's actually a, a navy, tiny little one, over the Mediterranean. We got an army down here <coughs> who's supporting uh, our neighboring uh, Bithanian army uh, at Antioch. Got another army up here who's heading towards the borders here. <coughs> The reason I was doing that was I want to basically try to take on these guys here. What's my relationship with these guys? Am I at war? I think I am. Now, of course, I also have an army <coughs> over here. Again, towards the front here a little bit. Um, key reason I had it there was because, of course, I wanted to basically move towards these guys here. I just check my diplomatic statuses. <clears throat> yeah, I'm at war with these guys here, I'm at war with those guys there. Uh, and of course down here we're at war as well. Um, I've got a, a fairly decent chunk of terrain here now myself. I guess it would be nice if I could liberate some of these locations, but uh, yeah, for the moment I'm, I'm just doing what I can to stay afloat. Another army here in this city here, and of course there is an opposing army uh, right here, or at least a navy. <clears throat> Actually, it's it's a full army, but it's, it's basically embarked in ships at the moment, it looks like. <clears throat> and of course I do have a spy here with me, which makes my life a little bit easier. Right, what is happening in terms of other bits and pieces here? Let's just double check. <clears throat> so, cannot trade, yeah, that's fine. Armenia, I'd love to be able to do something with them, but I, I cannot as of yet. <clears throat> so for the moment, we're just leaving it as is. What we're going to do is we're going to end our turn here. So the army that was threatening Antioch has pulled back, which is good. Ah, Edessa. Interesting, there's an army approaching that as well. And there is famine. Subject gains notoriety. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Which one is this? This is this gentleman here. Is that. Doesn't list his name, does it? Well, it can commit suicide with him. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> it's interesting to add that. Unhappy population. Yeah, I understand that. I'm going to stop uh, taxing them. Current public order is minus 52, and we're going to basically bring that down to minus 48. I do need to bring something else into the equation here. I need to basically start doing some other research here. The economy here. <coughs> Fixed tariffs basically gives me. What does it do? As international trade booms, so central government increases in the, the intervention in trade matters. Okay, by fixed tariffs on goods, the government can could control the profit made, keep powerful merchants, established markets in check, blah, 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 blah. Animal husbandry. I think that would be a useful one to have. Let's look at the other options here. for that one maybe this one here so I could go for this one gives me an impact upon mercenary mercenary recruitment I think I'm gonna stick with the one I chose earlier so of course that one there ah what is this? 
There are rumors abound that in the shadows and forgotten places your political rivals are meeting. <coughs> Who knows what is being discussed in those secret conclaves? All right, let's meet with them. Let's look at the impact of that later on. We've got an encouraged population here in this province here, even though we are taxing them. It looks like that is actually dropping. And what have we got here? Household expansion here. So it's this one here. Oh, okay. I thought it was the other one that basically got that, but that, that's fine. Let's have a look at all these locations here. So we can increase our food storage here. That's there, that's there. What else have we got here? I could do something potentially here, but no, I don't seem to have enough money here for that. <coughs> so which do these do I want to go for? <coughs> So we got, of course, the muster field here. Uh, this allows the recruitment of Pontic Belt Tests, and this allows the recruitment of Pontic Swordsmen. Eastern Archers. That is an interesting one. Let's go for that one. <coughs> now, what am I going to do with all my armies? I think I'm going to keep on moving this one forward. I want to move towards that city there, but I cannot as of yet. Alright, this is set, that's good. So look at the other armies that we got. Of course, here we've exposed this particular location here already. I'm rather inclined to see if I can actually get further to the West, or maybe you should go east. No, let's go west in this instance. We'll come across uh, the Romans and so forth over there. <clears throat> All right, let's actually set that to go there. These guys there will be exposed or revealed, I should maybe say. All right, let's see what we can do with this one here. All right, <clears throat> this one here. I'm going to keep on moving that forward again. Now, in theory, I should be able to do recruiting here. I don't seem to be able to do that. I don't know why. I'm going to bypass that city. Unfortunately, I cannot pass through the city because, of course, that's... Uh, yeah, we're in a, in a good position with them. What's happening to this province here, actually? <coughs> now, we are taxing them, so we're getting some money out of them. But we got two other cities. Tanais, up there. Hmm. I'm going to leave him where he is for the moment. Just, just for the single turn, just to see what's going to happen. I want to see if those guys go back into the, the city there. That would be favorable to me. Uh, so this guy here. Yeah, I can changing stance doesn't really do much for me. But I've got here the pikemen and I've got of course the hoplites. So the hoplites of course are more expensive. Uh, what else have we got here? Yeah, we got a few other options there. I don't think I want actually any of these, really. Unless I want to go for the cavalry options. Cappadocian cavalry or citizen cavalry. <coughs> Alright, let's leave it, leave it where it stands. Nothing else I want to add here. So I think, again, we can basically switch turns already at this point. <coughs> At 
looks like we did gain some troops here, I guess. <clears throat> and Tarsus is getting someone. Ooh. Right, so this gentleman here. Ah, mission issued. Defeat the following army in battle. Fire and steel media. All right, interesting. Question is, is this army here strong enough to do so? Ooh, it looks like I would be. <clears throat> I'll let them auto resolve that. Then I can choose the stance to see what actually I want to do. Let's do the medium one. <clears throat> As you can see, I did lose a fair number of the troops. Alright, did I did kill someone, I guess? So, a mission aborted. Sorry, defeat the following army in battle. Fire and steel media. Um, why has it been aborted? I'm not sure. A bit confused here, but okay. This old culture conversion. <clears throat> Let's do that one because, of course, I'm occupying the city here, anyways. It's already got a Hellenic cultural influence there, so that's good. And that also does public order already. So I would love to, of course, boost that even further if I could. <clears throat> I can generate wealth from slaves, okay. What do we got here? Silk caravan. 80 textile. <clears throat> okay. Looks like it's already pretty, yeah, okay in terms of uh, how it operates. <clears throat> I don't want to raise a new army. I was thinking of doing a recruitment. <clears throat> Let's keep it where it is for the moment. <clears throat> right, what else could I do? Well, let's actually have a look at all the other options that we had here. Increase in rank. Is this general here? <clears throat> ah, it's not the general, it's actually the spy that's with them. Uh, okay. Recruitment cost. Or line of sight. It's an interesting one to, to of course, increase. I'm going to keep this gentleman here. Trouble populace. We've yeah, we've seen that earlier. Bethania. Settlement captured. <coughs> okay, perfect. Resource acquired. Silk. Perfect. Look at that. That location, of course, has increased. Now we've always got more money at our disposal here as well. Could work on this, this one here. It's a useful one. So we can go from grain pits over to storage rooms, okay. And the other one was over here. Now this allows me to actually upgrade my uh, grove or upgrade the gathering place to increase potentially public order. Gymnasium. I think that would be a good one to upgrade to. <clears throat> Not too expensive, but at the same time still useful. Still really useful, I'd say. All right, what can we do here? Can we do it? Oh, we can actually do an upgrade of one of these here. But I think it'd be quite useful if I could basically upgrade, for example, the port to what? Now this, of course, could be used to do more commerce, wealth from manufacturing. But I think the, the maritime commerce would be quite useful. <clears throat> so how are we generating our trade at the moment? Is there a way of actually seeing our trade directly on here? 
So let's have a look. <clears throat> so we focus on trade. Let's actually maybe focus on this here first. So how many parties are there listed here that I could potentially trade with? All right. Let's see if we can maybe get a trade agreement. Nope, they're not happy to do that. Not with that either. Uh, defensive alliance, new payments. Offer payment. Let's make them a payment of, let's say, 460. <clears throat> we can ask no more. Your proposal is wise, honorable, and I hope pregnant with future profit. For now, there's nothing really otherwise beneficially to be found in here. So let's double check again all the different armies and so forth that we have. Yeah, we're going to move this navy here further down that way. This one we're going to leave where it is. This one, on the other hand. Hold on, what have we got here? What have we got here? Whose army is that? Trapadocia, okay. We're going to move him up. Got a good troops here. I'm not sure what kind of helmet he's wearing, but okay. What is the helmet that's depicted there as well? Okay, that's fine. And of course here we got another general here as well. Interesting. Have I got enough movement points to attack that? Cannot attack in your current stance. Now, what stance is that? <clears throat> My Lord. Ah, forced march. That's the problem. I didn't realize I had forced march turned on. Okay. Okay, I need to turn it off, and I'll do that at the beginning of next turn. For now, we're going to turn to the next episode, or next turn, next year. <clears throat> All right. Who are your ally strength, enemies? Wisdom, Slaves, Tillies. Okay, I agree with that. Ardacia. Okay. Uh, I'm quite happy with that kind of alliance. <clears throat> Thank you. Antioch. All right. Our envoy has discovered a woman in a foreign village who seems to be blessed with the power of persuasion. We could hire her to assist in future negotiations with foreign nations. Now we can indeed hire her, or we can refuse and get political favor. Important character. Okay, maybe we should get her. <clears throat> Don't know how expensive she is, but yeah, could be quite useful. This in here though I did say we need to basically go to a normal stance and once we're in the normal stance we should be able to start moving over here Ready for further orders. <clears throat> can I take that city I can indeed let's go for the balance stance we keep basically a good percentage of our army strength <clears throat> all right so we're taking yet another province in our hands here we're going to occupy this city here. It's the Macedonians right next door to me now. <clears throat> All right, perfect. Now this, of course, is part of a particular province. I'm not going to tax that province because, of course, I want to basically help increase or at least not have such a big reduction there. <clears throat> Alright. Now this city here could use a bit of conversion. This at the moment is a village. And I could convert that to a civil, a civil settlement. <clears throat> uh, a market settlement. Or maybe a... What do we got here? A grove of it's Celtic. Interesting. <clears throat> Shrine of Poseidon. 
Now that is a good location for that, I would say. Hmm. I'll convert that. At the moment that's a fisherman's hut, and I can of course convert that again to a fisherman's hut. Or it can go for military wharf. <clears throat> hmm. Wealth from maritime commerce. <clears throat> Level one ship hall. Upon a recruitment, if I had to convert this here to a military one, it's gonna do reduce the amount of food I get, which is a bit of a pity. Market settlement, civil settlement. Convert it into that. Right, construction is completed. Let's have a look over here. So this city here itself has basically got some new items in there, which is great. Now what's happening here in terms of the uh, the restfulness of the population? It is ooh, decreasing. It's still decreasing. If I basically set that to be a less, but okay, still. They now contain a turn code, which is great. <coughs> Morale for all the units. Faction encountered. Diplomacy with them now is possible. Interesting. Odrician, okay. Same ones? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Alright, I'll have a look at that in just a second. Troubled population here. <clears throat> I'd love to be able to basically increase my public order once again, but I can choose which type of thing I want to do. Wealth generation from slaves, wealth from all sources. No, not that one. Entertainment, Hellenic culture. I really want to basically get one of these that's useful here. Text harvesting edict, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, let's go for this one. <clears throat> Troubled population here as well, really? In my home territories? Ooh, it does look like it. Um, I do need to basically get my general back, I guess. <clears throat> That's one of my best wealth generating provinces. <clears throat> um, maybe I do need to basically get another general here to be recruited. I don't have the money for it. <clears throat> All right, let's wait until next turn. Let's double check what I got here. I've encountered a new faction, which is of course this one here. <clears throat> Greetings. Now speak plainly. I would to trade with them. Alright, they don't want a non-aggression pact, but they do want to trade. That's fine. <clears throat> I do not mind. Right, these guys have basically pulled back their army from there. So that should, in theory, allow me to basically, of course, get that city under my control here. <clears throat> Be able to take that settlement quite easily. <clears throat> faction encountered. Yet another one. All right, that faction there. How do they think about us? Armenia. Okay. Do you want to trade yet? No, no trading. <clears throat> All right, no non-aggression either. We can't say I didn't try. Anyways, guys, I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave it right here. 
Great, great point to basically leave it. Yeah, I do need to do something about the actual happiness of the population here, which are growing quite nicely, particularly in this location here. Uh, but yeah, we do need to basically, of course, call it a day. So guys, we're going to save the game. And of course, we're going to take it to the next one. So YouTube, sweet. My caps lock is on. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.